band for cover, mm -hmm. um, and there's a few bands here like Modern Baseball and Basement. Mm -hmm. um, and then just kind of in general talking about being on like a major or an indie, mm -hmm. why for you guys does it work to be on indie label? Well, for one, I feel like Run For Cover has just got such a sense of community that we're all really attracted to. Um, I think that the coolest bands uh, in history have come from being a part of a scene, you know what I mean? Even, I mean, even down to the Beatles, you know, coming from the beat scene and things like that. Um, I think that that's really cool and I, I, I just feel like that's kind of where we feel like we fit in. and. Um, it also helps that we're, you know, those are just our friends yeah. and we're not like, you know, doing the work of some suit in an yeah. office. Um, it just feels like we're a part of something um, that's got a really cool vibe and it's not, you know, yeah. against what we believe or anything like that. So. And what do you think is going to be that kind of keeps that community alive, like no matter what? I Well, I think that there's a really big uh, willingness with bands in that world and on Run For Cover to constantly be pushing the boundaries. Um, I feel like maybe other scenes or bands that don't have a scene are kind of stagnant. Yeah. Um, whereas Run For Cover bands, I think every time a new record comes out, it pushes the walls a little further. Um, and, you know, I hope that, you know, for Citizen, we can have a place in that. Um, because I, I think that that's what makes this scene really special, you know. Yeah. And I've seen a lot of, like, for the mainstream artists or whatever, kind of talking more about just releasing singles. Mm -hmm. Are you still very focused on the whole albums as a concept? And, or, yeah, you absolutely. Um, you know, we, our last record was essentially not even anything that resembled a single yeah. um, because that's how focused on the album we were. Um, so, you know, that's still very much in our heads, like, you know, we want to make a really great album or, you know, an album that, you know, plays a role rather than just having a catchy single or whatever and then nobody cares about the album. Um, you know, it's very like, I would rather somebody hate our album than be lukewarm about our album. Um, so, you know, that's definitely... Priority number one is just making a cohesive, uh, cool kind of piece of music rather than, you know, just a, a single that comes and goes, you know what I mean?